Hello, and welcome to the new Improved Shot About It with your host, Tisa, Candice, and Sabrina. A podcast where we talk about shit and talk a lot of shit. This week, I'm going to shot about my new job. And I'm probably going to shot about parenting all solo. I'm going to shot about it, maybe twice, to my newly found turn on. Woo! <laughs> well, let's get into it, guys. <laughs> All right. So, I uh, started my new job this week, and I don't want to talk about what where I'm working because I don't want it's a big business. So I don't want to say what it is, but it is a big business, and they've told me that I'm going to be working sixty to seventy hour weeks. That's one week, not two weeks, and I probably won't have time for school. So, I'll be making 65k a year, but I won't be able to finish school. So, you'll figure it out. If something will happen, you'll figure it out. Whatever you got to do. If you want to finish school, which obviously you do. Yeah, cuz I started it. Yeah. I, I already told my mom that I was going to start selling nipple paintings. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I love your last paintings. nipple painting. I, I cannot it. lie. Your last nipple if painting you guys is pretty see bomb. It, you would not know that that was nipples. It was, you, it was a work of art. Yeah, my you. sister it was, was like... definitely a work of art. And I said... Um, my sister said that she didn't even know that it was nipples. Because she's like, I've seen it before, but I didn't know that it was your nipples. And I was like, yeah. I was like, see, that's the areola, and that's where the nipple is. <laughs> <laughs> but, hey, I was even thinking, like, making, like, three by threes of it. You know, you can make money by this. Nobody's still my idea. Hashtag I'm just, OnlyFans. I'm, yeah, I have an OnlyFans. I... I I have, a, I do have an OnlyFans, but I haven't started anything on it, and it's, uh, what is it, Riot Girl, R I O T G R R L. So look it up. Girl. Yeah. So I do have an OnlyFans, but I haven't started anything on it. So yeah, because it's not, and the money would be going to something good, which is my life, because I need to pay bills and I need a divorce. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. So definitely that one. So sure. you know, maybe they'll let me only work forty hours a week, but I doubt it. But. Well. But I really do want to finish school. Really do. I, you know, it took me it 10 out. years to get back in. So. Never too late. Never too oh. late. Yeah. My, just get it done. I just want to finish my bachelor's. I will graduate probably in the fall of next year. But because I have to put off taking 15, 18 credit hours. Because I was going to go crazy and take 18 credit hours this semester and next semester. But I was just like, okay, I have this job that's asking for a lot. Then I'm going to have to not do that. So. But I am looking for another job just to be safe because I really want to finish school. And it's not something that I want to do for the rest of my life. It's a good company where, like, I'm only paying, like, $30, $40 a month in benefits. And they pay everything else. And they pay half of your um, uh, deductible for your insurance. Like, it's really good. It's really good. But it's like you have no life. There is no work-life balance there. It's all work. Yeah. And yeah. I really, really love seeing my friends and family. And you guys are family, so do I? I don't think I have friends. I think I only have family. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh my God. You're kidding me. Tears. So, yeah. But we'll figure it out, and I'll take my shot to that when we're done discussing everybody else. Um, my cue to come and. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, I discovered this week that, you know, I don't want to bash him because he is a great father. He loves his baby girl so much, and we have a daughter. She is seven and going on 21 um, with her attitude to where she, like, don't give a shit, and she's going to do her life the way she wants to. Sounds like her mother. Uh, and you know what? You might be validly correct on that one. Let's go with that. Um, but you know what? She, she goes with her dad. She loves her dad. And she'll do anything with her dad, for her dad. And, um, it's just unfortunate because some weekends, you know, he ends up in the hospital. He does have a lot of issues. He is a veteran. Um, he has a lot of medical issues. Um, and she won't tell me. He won't tell me until it's too late. Um, and so now I'm to the point where I need to babysit both of them, especially on his weekends, his weeks, whatever, whatever the cause is, whatever the weekends are or whatnot. 
and it's just exhausting and this week it just like kind of him going into the hospital and not telling me and just taking my daughter to his mother's house validated the fact that I might be doing this a lot on my own a lot of school a lot of this a lot of that and you know what it's perfectly fine I have a great great support. support system I have my mom I have my best friends who are my family who are my sisters who I can turn to and just literally rely on them a hundred percent a hundred and ten percent just helping me out with my my little nugget she is amazing but she wasn't amazing without these people that I have especially right next to me and then my parents and everybody around me um so I'm venturing into solo parenting with a positive attitude um that's what I'm doing and that's what I'm shouting about oh, we're always gonna be here for you at a drop of a hat Mm -hmm. I don't know. I can always text Serena and she's like, uh, duh, just bring her over. Come on. Yeah. Well, when I find the key to your house. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I can't believe. I give her, I give this woman the key to my house and she freaking loses it. What the hell? I didn't lose it. What the hell? Somebody from male ages 47 to 84 <laughs> lost the key to my car and the house. At least I had a spare car key, but your key and the house key, my mom was like, I think I might have an extra house key. And I was like, okay, good. So a male, an adult male lost the key, either the, the son of the 84-year-old or the 84-year-old. And the 84-year-old was like, I didn't do it. And then he was like, later on, he was like, well, maybe I might have done, done it. Done it. <laughs> um, check my car. Check your car. Let me check over here. I love him. It's going to be in a deep, dark corner of the house. Mm -hmm. He's like, check in the floor. Check you're gonna it. You're going to see it in the bright, dark, uh, deep uh, recesses yeah. of... He got angry. The corners or something. He got very angry. Do not say that I lost it. Because everybody's blaming him all day about shit. And he's like, I may be old, but I'm not stupid. It isn't stupid. even me. It wasn't it's me. Bad. It was the one-armed man. Shit, I even made my sister Jerry go through her Might purse twice. Key, but it wasn't me. That reminds me of that Might TikTok I saw. Key. It wasn't me. No, it Might have lost the yeah. car key. It wasn't she me. It was like... Uh, I wanted to do the dishes and clean up, but then I said, why? Or whatever. <laughs> yeah. I was dying. <laughs> yes. So if you guys that haven't seen great. that TikTok, yes. you need to see it. Yes. So, Sabrina, what are you shouting about, too? So, my best friend bought me a candle, <laughs> and it's fresh cut grass. I don't know about you all, but I love, 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 love the smell of fresh cut grass. It's got to be wet, fresh cut grass, and not just any grass. Winter grass. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever done it, but like the first time I noticed how much I love the smell, I was doing sports medicine in high school, we went to Kingman, I think it was for a soccer game or football or something, but it was fresh cut grass and it smelled so good, I fucking kid you not, and I'm not even lying to you guys both, I fucking laid down in that grass and I just stuck my face in it and just sniffed the fuck out of it. It was so good, like the smell. I'm not even lying. Fucking grass sniffer, like... <laughs> Is that people oh, just remind like, me of superstar? Like, I mean, of tape and yeah. I love some smell people of like grass. some people like need to smell their armpits. Some people, you know, they need like <laughs> that like sniff of a line of coke or something. But no, you you just need a fresh freaking. And sniff if I'm out winter and I winter smell grass. it, winter grass. If I'm outdoors and I smell it somewhere. I like it. Like it has this aroma where like I just trail and gravitate towards it. <laughs> oh and I'm God. like, I'm gonna find it. I'm but gonna find this grass. And then you, no then joke you like today. make love, like you roll around in it and like have an orgasm because I, I you're laying around in it and sniffing it. It's it. like when your husband or significant other wears like good cologne and it smells so good and you're like, oh, okay. it kind of turns it on. <laughs> and then I smell grass and I'm like, oh, I can't turn it on. Let's it take it so back <laughs> to yesterday. Let's take it back to yesterday. I was talking about another podcast where they had like kink crimes and they were talking about different kinks people have. Well, they said, like, you know, oh, people like bondage. People like, you know, to dress up like furry characters. People like to do this and blah, blah, blah. People like trees. Well, Sabrina <laughs> loves to paint trees, okay? <laughs> Every single thing. And she's mastered it. She paints oh. beautiful trees. <laughs> she paints, like, the most beautiful trees. She could paint spooky trees, pretty trees, creepy, fall 
cherry every, blossom, like, every, hashtag dead trees. Every tree, <laughs> every, any tree you can not name, she can paint it, and it's amazing. My well, husband does I, that like I, it. I asked her, I'm like, well, people have tree fetishes. Is that what does it for you? And she goes, actually, it's fresh cut grass. <laughs> it's fresh cut winter grass. <laughs> fresh cut winter grass. And I'm like, it's not any other grass. You can't have a good Bermuda. You can't have a good, like, you know, any other kind of grass. It's got to be winter grass. Okay. It's like the, what, like in the morning when it's got the fresh dew on it or like when the sprinklers like ran over it and it's still wet. So and like, then, and then the mower it. and then they cut it. Oh, my God. So going to the See, park is a hard dude. turn okay. on for you? Oh, I fucking man. smell. Like, oh, my God. I'm going to take you guys to a fresh cut grass, like, fucking field. Like, I don't need and to. And you guys are going to smell the smell that I smell. I, I know the smell that it. you smell, but. <laughs> say. It doesn't, it doesn't turn us on. It doesn't, it doesn't you, do it. It doesn't do it. Smell it smells amazing. It smells great, but it does it not smells turn amazing, us It smells amazing, and I get what you're saying around the fact that it smells amazing, but it's not like that's what. Gr- it doesn't get our gears grinding. Speaking of grass and leaves, <laughs> let's talk about our shot. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Segway. Good job. All right. Well, our shot is a green tea shot tonight. Yes. <laughs> and it does use a few tea leaves, I guess, like in another time and place, but not in the shot. Um, it is uh, Jameson whiskey, peach schnapps, sour mix, and lemon lime soda. And Jameson Whiskey Company kind of came up with it just to keep it like within their company, but they other like, companies. But other companies have, like, branched out on it and everything. But it is true to Jameson because Jameson wanted to keep a whiskey shot to themselves, apparently. And it's really good. It's delicious. It is delicious. And we are going to take a shot now. All right, ladies. To grass and trees. To grass and trees. (laughs) Work. Solo mama. And momming hard. (laughs) Oh, that's delicious. I liked it. I think we might have let it sit too long. It got a little warm, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. Like now I literally am all thinking about grass. No, (laughs) Jesus. You know what? You know what? The best time to go to the fucking park is at night when they, when the waters turn off. But it's not cut. Uh, But it still smells good. I wonder if we can do like. No, she needs it legit fresh cut. She needs that buzz cut on that grass. And whack it. Can I take scissors and cut it? Will it be the same as like a lawnmower runs over it? So like you need to, you're jonesing for it to, to the fact that you need to go to a park and you know, literally cut, my fucking new cut a blade, of, you need to cut a blade of grass and sniff as you go. Don't leave. No, I'm going to go get my fresh cut grass candle and then I will let you guys oh, know the name of it. Grab my, my wallet while you, just kidding. What? Hey, what? I have something in my wallet. So, oh it's just us now. It is just... Because she has to go get her smell. Teresa I don't know. and Candace right here. I don't know why she has to bring it out. She always has to do things like this. Because <laughs> her ADD runs wild. <laughs> and she needs to smell fresh cut grass. Kind of disturbing when it's the three of us. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> Oh, we are actually in the garage, and yes. it's humid as fuck because it rained oh so hard we, yesterday. Uh, we live in Arizona, so Arizona at this moment we are. Oh no, we're uh, at. We're the, still at the end of monsoon now. We're end of July, beginning of August. Manana, eh? Yeah, tomorrow's August first, and um, it's, the first it's monsoon month. season. So Arizona is usually like. Guess who got the fresh cut grass candle? <laughs> this is from Michaels. My best friend got it on sale. Um, it is called Fresh Cut Coupe Fresh Shade. I fresh. brought something for you. It was in my wallet. You brought me another thing? Yes. I made you something. <gasps> oh, Are you yeah. fucking serious? Yep. I made you guitar picks, She made bitch. me guitar picks. With resin. Aww. By the way, my best friend Candace, she does Aww, resin I love stuff. You. Uh, eventually, we're going to start up some Etsy shops. Yeah, you need to look. But you know what? You you have. Do you have your postings on your page or anywhere? Um, I will be posting soon. I needed to get like a little bit.